Are you looking to get an hourglass figure and no weights included? Well, boom, this is the workout for you. Guys, what's up everybody? My name's Rebecca Louise and welcome to our channel. First of all, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, there's loads of you guys who are out there and I wanna know who is part of our community. Hit that subscribe button and our goal is to get to a million subscribers this year. Okay, if you wanna have waiting, you can. We're gonna get started straight away and let's get that hourglass figure. Okay, first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna bring that arm up to the sky and we're gonna take it across the opposite body. So squeeze in nice and tight. If you wanna add a weight in the top, you absolutely can. It's just gonna make it a little bit more challenging. You do not need weight to this workout. So squeeze and then extend. That's it, really taking it across the body. All of that weight wants to be on that right leg. So that supporting leg and then crunch from side to side. You're gonna feel it in those obliques. So look, hourglass figure. It's gonna be a combination of doing these exercises to sculpt your muscles. It's gonna be partly genetics and it's gonna be partly nutrition okay so if you're not already on one of my nutrition programs guys i've been doing it since 2013 it's how i've been able to maintain my weight i've been able to feel amazing have energy and feel positive every single day all right squeeze lift up and crunch from side to side give me five more seconds on the right that's it we're just getting nice and warm as we go up three two one and extend you're going to take it over to the other side so you're going to get a 20 second rest in between but if you want to keep on moving right just give me kind of jogging on the spot you're going to get a little bit of cardio in at the same time so lifting that arm up and you're going to take it across the body and squeeze so either your hands on your hips now if these exercises are too simple or it's too easy guys all you're going to do is add on some weight and resistance bands let's take it across the other side that's it breathe the most important thing is that you are moving your body on a daily basis take it across and extend, inhaling through your nose, exhale everything out, really crunch it up, and then sweep it all the way through. Here we go, come on, get that crunch. Really think about twisting in that body. Here we go, inhale and exhale. Even if you want to add on some ankle weights, by the way, there might be something that's coming soon. Oh yes, we've got some BTES ankle weights on the way. Right, we got 15 more seconds right here. Extend all the way through, pull that core up nice and tight, squeeze that core. You've got this for five, three, four, three two and one nice work all right shake it up just getting everything nice and warm remember okay we're going to take into some short lunges so what i want you to do here is you come to the front and then you're going to squeeze out to the side pushing that booty out so let's practice a few together so you're going to come forward that back leg the toe is going to come up the heel's going to come up and then you're going to squeeze from side to side and then tucking those hips as you get to the top let's go for it so small little lunge forward pushing those hips out to the side, really working on that hourglass figure, and then squeeze those glutes. Again, if you wanna make it more challenging, add in some weight into your hand. Both ways is gonna work. All right, here we go. Take it across, little tiny pulse, and then squeeze those glutes all the way to the top. Foot in front, pushing that heel out to the side, glute is squeezed, and then all the way back in. So it's a very, very small little movement, but what you're gonna feel is it really is tight in the glutes, and we're not working as much in the quads as we normally do in a typical lunch. All right, let's keep it going. You've got, give me one more on either side. Come on, take it all the way up. Really push that glute out to the side. Give me one more and squeeze. All right, we're gonna take it down to the ground into our fun little bicycles. Now look, if you're like, hey, this is just too easy for me, no problem, add in weight and it's gonna be a complete game changer. All right, here we go. We're gonna bring it into bicycles with a pulse. So we're gonna here, we're gonna lift that leg up and down and bring it back. So take it across the body, leg lifts, and then bring it back to the center. Really think about bringing that elbow up towards the knee, not the knee to the elbow. Pulse it out and breathe. So you're gonna work on the lower abs here as well and those oblique muscles as you are twisting from side to side. Here we go, lift that chest up just a little bit more. What did you show up today? You showed up to get great results. So we gotta keep on fighting. If we do not show up, we're never gonna get those results. That's all we have to do is keep on moving our body for 30 minutes every single day. That's it, no excuses. It's gonna make you feel better. Guys, it's a free way to feel better, to look younger, and to have more energy. All right, here we go. All the way through for three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna take it to a new move today. You're gonna keep those legs right here, relax the feet. We're gonna take it to reach overs. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it across the body, lift up, and then all the way over. So think about really pulling that chest up off the ground. The shoulders are up off the ground, lifting those arms up to the sky, and we're gonna take it down, up, and over, that's it. Breathe through it, and here we go. Inhale through your nose, and exhale everything out. Now bring those knees just a slightly little bit further away.
away from you to really work those ab muscles and to work. Oh, yes, you are working those obliques. Lift up just a little bit more. We're twisting from side to side, really getting that tiny waist. And then as we work on getting those glutes a little bit bigger, remember protein is gonna be important to grow those glutes. If you're not feeding yourself enough food, you're not gonna be able to grow the muscle. All right, here we go, all the way up and squeeze. Keep breathing. You've got less than 10 seconds to go. Do not quit now. Really just keep that chest lifted up with every single time for three, two, one, and release. All right, roll all the way up over onto your front. We're gonna keep on working those obliques right now. We're gonna take it into some plank dips. So coming all the way down onto the ground, bringing your arms together. And we'll make it a little bit more challenging, bring your hands apart. Modified version, you're gonna come onto your knees and go dip from side to side. And make it more challenging, you're gonna come up onto your toes right here. So take it nice and slow and control. That's what we're doing today is slow and over you go. I want a nice straight line from your head to your shoulders, all the way through to your booty, to your heels, and then pull that core in nice and tight. Take a nice big breath in and exhale everything out. A little bit more challenging. Bring those hands apart and bring them flat down onto your mat. Nice work, everybody. Slow and controlled. A little tap all the way down onto the ground and then bring it back up again. That's it, slow and controlled. This time we've done them a little bit faster before, but this time we are really working on really bringing out and taking inches off that waist. All right, come all the way down. I'm gonna flip back on over. We're gonna take it into some bridges and we're gonna do bridges walking in and out. So here we're gonna work on those hamstrings a little bit and to work on pulling up that booty. That's what those hamstrings are gonna do. So we're gonna come all the way up. You're gonna come up onto your toes and you're gonna walk it out to the side and then you're gonna walk it into the middle and then out to the side. So again, you're working on those, uh, you can really feel it in those obliques at the same time. So relax your head down on the ground and you're just gonna walk from side to side. Working a little bit of those calf muscles as well at the same time, lifting all the way up through the chest and taking it all the way over to the other side. That's it. Just kind of like little crab worlds and then push those hips up a little bit higher, squeezing those glutes. That's it, you can feel it. Get it moving. Take it all the way to the outside of your mat and then take it all the way back again. Nice work, here we go. Inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. Take it across and then all the way back. Slow and controlled. Now push those hips up just a little bit higher for the last three, two, one, and gently release down. Bring those knees in towards your chest, just gently roll from side to side. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna stay in the middle. So we're gonna come up, you're just gonna lift up onto your toes and then gently come all the way down. So really think about squeezing those glutes. So the hip thrust, any sort of bridge exercise are gonna be great for glutes. So push those knees out to the side. We're gonna lift and then down. Now come an inch or two up off the ground and then bringing those heels all the way back again. Pushing those hips up nice and high with every single rep that you do. Now tuck those hips underneath a little bit more. Squeeze those glutes, breathe through it. Inhale through your nose and then exhale everything out. That's it, you've got this, stay connected. Really push those knees out to the side. Bring those hips up just a little bit higher. You've got this, come on, push forward just a little bit more. Squeeze, inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. All the tension in your glutes, in those calf muscles, in the lower legs. Come on, relax the chest, the head, the hands, everything is right there. Lift all the way up to the top, bring those heels up higher and hold for three, two, one, and release down. Bring those knees in towards your chest. Just sway from side to side. We're gonna come into a side plank with leg lift. So let's start it off. We're gonna go bring that hand all the way down to the ground. We're gonna lift up to the sky right here. Modified version, you can come down on one side and you're just gonna lift up and down. So pull that core in nice and tight. Make it a bit more challenging. You're gonna come up here and we're gonna extend that leg up and down. Woo, so you're working those glutes and you're working the side of those obliques at the same time. Now push down with that fingertip, lifting up through the chest. Make sure that hand is nice and straight up to the sky and then use your glute to lift up your leg. That's a little trick right here. Squeeze the glute, lift it all the way up and then bringing those hips on top of each other. Here we go, you've got this. Pull that belly button in nice and tight. Extend all the way through and you've got this. Come on, start to feel those glutes working. Those obliques on fire. Do not quit now. You've got to keep on going. You showed up today. Why did you show up? You showed up to finish it, not just do halfway. Give me one more and gently release all the way down. Take it over to the other side. You got a 20 second rest and then we're gonna pop it all the way up onto our left side. So bring that arm down to the ground and then think about lifting that arm all the way nice and straight up. So squeeze those glutes. Are you ready? Come on, let's get in that position. Breathe through it for three, two, one. Let's go. Inhale and exhale. 
you can feel those glutes on fire. Yes, especially after those bridge pulses. It is on fire, it's working. Now pull that core in nice and tight. Pull that belly button in, hips on top of each other. Really think about elongating that top arm, extending it all the way up to the sky. Squeezing those glutes, extending that leg nice and long. Here we go. You're looking so strong, everybody. You are looking fire, you're looking fierce. Remember, every single step that you make is working into a direction. We only feel stuck when we have stopped. So just keep on moving. Whatever you have going on in your life right now, you are not stuck. You've just stopped and gently release all the way down. Oh my goodness, well done everybody. Woo, what a fire 10 minutes that was. If you're like, hey, I was just getting started. I want more, then make sure that you go download the BTES app that has full length workouts on there. So many other things as well to help you stay connected, get results and stay on track. My name is Rebecca Louise. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in our next workout, everybody. Love you. Mwah.